We are here with Frank and Sergio from Deftones. Welcome back to Dallas. Thank you. How are Thank you guys you very doing? Much. We're doing very well. Thank very you. well. Now, have you guys been on the road, or is this your first show for the new record? We're basically just starting our touring cycle for uh, the Diamond Eyes record, mm -hmm. and this is our fourth show, um, I believe. Yeah. How does it feel? How's it going? It feels really, really good. Is nice. it good? Really good, yeah. Well, you know, I was reading a bunch of interviews with you guys to prepare for this, and one of the things that keeps coming up is the positivity and this radiant energy that, that it took a tragedy to bring everybody together. Are you feeling that as well with this new record? I don't think that it necessarily took a tragedy to mm -hmm. do that. I think because from when I came into the situation, you could see that, that, that they already had a, a really nice thing going, and it wasn't that that was the, the, the impetus for it. Right. But, th but that didn't stop with the incident and and there was a conscious effort to to really not it wasn't even so much conscious because we were you know it was just more about the excitement of of deciding to move forward and putting your best foot forward and us getting together and i'm an old friend and we got linked up and it was about just appreciating the fact that we could do what we were doing and, uh, and attacking it with with gusto and uh, i keep reading that with you with your addition to the band that that it's helped keep things moving forward I think so in the sense that, you know, like we're friends and the, the, and that kind of helped set the, you know, like you get past the, with a lot of things and you just get to the action and the meat of it. You know, mm -hmm. we started playing and just really going at it and we have a lot of respect for things that we've done prior individually and we had the opportunity to work together. It was really awesome. It, so it was really yeah. organic. So yeah. it, there was like no, no master plan. and um, I heard it, you guys like went into a giant room together and you just started well we jamming. Just, we, we, after uh, our bass player's accident, we uh, it took a couple months for us to come together at our rehearsal space, and then we had called him to come jam, and um, it just happened. You know, we, I think we wrote a song that night, and then um, we just said, why don't we see if we can take this and see what happens, and it just kept coming. So that's, from that came the, the diamond eyes. You know? Well, I wanted to ask you about this because I was really captivated by the artwork, and you know, with this era of downloads, it's I appreciate artwork even more because you right. don't get that when you're downloading stuff off right. of iTunes. And this reminded me of Minerva <coughs> from back in 2003 okay. because the owl is is her symbol. And I wondered yeah. if, was that an accident or did you do that on purpose? Uh, it wasn't on purpose, but I think it all kind of just happens like that. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Um, I'd like to say there was this big story behind it or nothing, but it, I mean, we had a, a batch of, of ideas and, and this one just spoke to us. Yeah, you know it, was I mean? a, it wasn't unlike like the recording process, mm -hmm. but we just had good energy and we were sitting there just banging out things. And then, um, and then you know, like the images were being presented and it was like, whoa, that one just, everyone just really resonated and it felt nice and clean. It just somehow like in a, in a, in a not direct way really just spoke to you know what we were doing. Yeah. Now, I know that a lot of the mucho macho men that listen to Deftones love the rah, rah, rah. There's a real meat and potatoes to the songs. Um, but the one that I love is Sex Tape. And I'm curious, what, what was the inspiration for that? Because it's really, it's beautiful, but it's also slightly terrifying. Again, I don't think it's about, uh, there wasn't a conscious thing. Like, the songs were all written in a very close, you know, time frame, like within mm -hmm. two to three months tops. And so, like, the songs don't necessarily have individual things behind them. It all has the same undercurrent of energy and, and really the, the organic way that things came together. That was literally someone jamming, someone saying, whoa, and then getting up on it. Yeah. And then Nick Raskin is recording it and, and, and everyone just, you know, being positive and building up that. It was like every song came together in that way. How did the collaboration with Nick Raskulenitz come about? Because I understand he's like, he's genius and everybody who works oh, with him talks about his yeah. awesome energy. He has a lot of great energy. Yeah. He really <laughs> does. He's a really, really cool guy. Um, I think Abe had met him a, a year prior on a whim and then uh, I think he approached us, like he approached Chino and uh, we were, you know, I think he knew our situation and then uh, he kind of came to us and uh, we ran with it, you know what I mean? And we were just coming off of making a record with Bob Ezrin and it was, that was a, a, a weird time for us. We probably weren't in the best state to be trying to make a record, but it, we made a good record, but um, this was complete opposite, man. It was just the energy was there and it had a lot to do with Nick and Sergio. It was just new blood, new, new time. Um, and uh, creativity was flowing, and I think we captured it in a, in a way that we haven't done in a long time. I think Around the Fur was written in about two months' time, too. Um, so it was uh, it was good to uh, break our cycle of you know taking two to three years to make a record. I had read know. an interview with Chino where he said that the energy on this record is very similar to Around the Fur, and he said that Around the Fur was one of his favorite records, so it's nice yeah, to kind of revisit that. I wouldn't that. say similar, but yeah, the, the immediacy of how it happened, you know what I mean? Um, 
that's about it, yeah. And how is, how is Chi doing these days? I know there's a website that's set up in his honor, oneloveforchi.com. That's it, oneloveforchi.com. What's, what's his prognosis? How is he? It's been two years now, hasn't it? <laughs> Almost. Maybe, yeah. Essentially, like, the, the website is the source for the information. Okay. And we're not privy to okay. anything beyond that. As, as being that we're not really technically family and you okay. don't really have access to anything that the band doesn't, I mean, okay. that, the, that his family, his immediate family doesn't, you know, disseminate and they put that out through the website and yeah. we're in touch with the, him and, you know, so that's really the best place okay. to get any. One love for Chi.com. Yeah, definitely. Now, the big news for you guys, of course, you guys, uh, Deftones here tonight, you guys go on at 5.30, but then are you staying? You're staying at, or you're coming back on Tuesday? I don't yeah. know. Yes. Mm -hmm. Really? I haven't heard that. <laughs> <laughs> we can give it away. This what? is on the web, so I'm not giving it away just yet. It's on well, your website. You guys are doing. We're coming back here to fly out to go to Europe. <laughs> <laughs> we are. <laughs> well, the show on Tuesday. Am I not allowed to bring up the show on Tuesday? Is that? A I don't want to be the one. I don't want to be that dude. It's on your website. <laughs> it's on really? the Deftones website. That's so. go to my website. Of my bad internet connection because I had no idea. Well, no, it's on the website, and I'm actually really? hosting it. Okay. So what? It's gonna be fun. Oh, that's and awesome. we're going to take questions from fans, and nice. then I understand that you might be performing, but Maybe. that's on the DL. <laughs> we'll see. So, well, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you. Good thank luck you at the so show. New album comes out on May 4th. Yes, it does. Awesome. Well, thank you, gentlemen, and thank good you. luck at the show tonight. Thank you.